So I'm pretty sure every single hour of my spare time in the last month has gone to sanding. It's a whole lot of fun. Hey, I'm Janelle. This is to DIY for. Um, yes, I have been doing a lot of furniture refinishing on the channel in the last month or so. I hope you are enjoying the content. Please let me know if you like to see these transformations that I'm doing down in the comments below. But the biggest reason why I'm doing a lot of it right now is because it's finally warmed up in Canada and I can work outside in our driveway. I don't have a workshop. We live in an apartment and I'm not even going to tell you why I'm not going to do sanding in the apartment. Like it's just a bad idea. It's such a mess. So that's one of the reasons. The other reason is we're in a lockdown in Ontario and well, I've been doing a lot of scrolling on Facebook marketplace and actually come across some really great finds, including the table set that I'm going to do for our kitchen table. I have hated our setup for a very long time. And finally, Finally, we're gonna revamp it. So I liked the shape of this. It was the right size for us. And uh, something really interesting ended up happening with the chair seats. I had no idea that they looked like this, but I'm excited to share with you next week how I redo the chairs and you'll see the full kind of reveal then. But this week we're gonna focus on the table. So let's get into it. All right, so here is the table set that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace. It is the perfect size for our apartment. It also came with two extra leaves, which is great to extend it. If we ever have company over, we have two additional chairs. But as you can see, it's in really rough, rough shape. Even more so when we finally got this thing pried apart, which was nearly impossible. So I'm gonna go in and clean it with some baking soda and vinegar and a wire brush and scrub away a lot of that rust. I still do need to get some like WD-40 to help these tracks slide a little bit better because it is still pretty impossible to <laughs> slide closed. So once that was done, I'm just gonna go ahead and sand the entire tabletop. The best tips that I can give for you if you're working with a rotary sander like I am is as you can see I'm moving really really slow to take off this finish I have 120 sandpaper on here and um, I think that's the best way to do it you don't get any of those circle marks from the sander and you don't want to go too rough with the sandpaper I went back and I did a finer sandpaper once all the major sanding was done to give a smooth surface so under the underside here I'm gonna be using the black paint sample that I used in a previous project a couple of weeks ago to paint those pieces black they will be seen when the table is you know upright once that dried I did two coats of that I'm gonna flip the table over and as you can see it is completely sanded it was a couple of hours of sanding I've even got the leaves in here all done making sure that I clean this off really well before I go in with my stain so I am again using the red mahogany stain I've used it uh, in previous projects it's a wood tone that we have in our apartment make sure you're going along with the grain when you do that stain and you can go back after a couple of hours and do a second coat like I've done here I will say I wish I used a wood conditioner I've never had to do that in the past but I find this to be a pretty splotchy coverage which I'm not thrilled about but live and learn I guess Afterwards, you're obviously gonna need to go in with some polyurethane, which is what I'm doing here to protect the tabletop, make sure you do the sides. So while that dried, I went and tackled the legs and I'm just doing a really rough sand on here. It does not need to be nearly as good as the sand on the top because we are going to be painting these legs. So I didn't have to take it right down to the natural wood tone. I sanded them again, make sure I clean them right off. And this is gonna allow the paint to adhere to these legs a lot better. And I did two coats of that black paint again. So I'm just going to attach these legs back to our tabletop and take a look at what it looks like. I was getting a little bit excited at this point and I'm still not done. <laughs> this doesn't make a lot of sense, but we're tightening her, tightening her up now because she's a little wobbly. Hopefully this helps. Yeah, I know. I should have done that while it was upside down on the floor, but I didn't. Anyways, I'm going to go in with another coat of polyurethane. I would suggest doing at least three coats and it's really important to sand in between with some very fine sandpaper. I was working with 320 there. Oh my God. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Okay. 
not coming to print. So, like I said, um, I still need to get some oil to grease up those tracks. It's nearly impossible to open on my own. I would have loved to show you what the table looks like with both leaves in, but I wasn't able to get it open myself. So, I closed her up, and here is what the table looks like so far. Let me know what you thought of this transformation. I'm really excited to show with you what I'm going to do next week with the chairs. Fun fact, when I bought this, I had no idea this is what the seats looked like. So as soon as I lifted up these cushions, I knew exactly what I was going to do with these seats. And I'm excited to share with you the completed project next week. As always, though, I'd love to know your thoughts on my DIYs. Leave it in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back next week with a new... Well, I'll be back next week with the uh, full reveal of the new dining set.